welcome everybody to Lillian's Vegan World. Aloha. Thank you so much for joining us today for another episode where we talk about the vegan lifestyle and plant-based diet. I am so uh, so happy to welcome back on my show some someone that I had on last year with her husband, the awesome Ellen Gambriel. Hi, Lily. <laughs> hey, Ellen. <laughs> welcome back to the show. Thanks for having us. We're honored to be here. You know, I'm always um, sussing you out on Facebook and checking out your your food pictures. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of, they they do definitely suck me in. You're an awesome cook, but Ellen, I would love to introduce you. You are a nurse, yoga instructor, vegan, um, awesome cook, and an animal rights activist, among other things. <laughs> and you also run your business with your husband, Captain Mushroom. Yes, that's right. We uh, <laughs> that things are a little slower since the virus, but we're still growing. And um, we've noticed that there's a large population of people that love mushrooms on Oahu. So they've been keeping us pretty busy since the restaurants are closed. That's great, because I was going to say, yeah, I, I can imagine that uh, since you since COVID-19, you, you have had to find other ways of getting your mushrooms out there to the public, which we will go yeah. into detail with, but how's it all going? Yeah, um, you know, it was a little frightening at first. I mean, we had uh, just gotten a, a pretty big account with a restaurant in Coalino, and they're excellent, really, really great people to work with. They were so enthusiastic about the mushrooms, and it was a beautiful relationship. And then, you know, two weeks later, it was over. And I was actually up on the North Shore at a silent meditation retreat for 10 days. So I, I heard about that retreat. Yeah, the Vipassana. So I didn't even know what was going on. And really, had, yeah, we were completely cut off. We didn't know. We have no cell phones, no communication with the outside world. I was actually running the kitchen. So I was cooking for almost 150 people every day. Wow. Super busy and all vegan meals. So that was very cool. And what my daughter was awesome an experience. Oh, yeah. So it's my third, my third class, my third time doing it. And then they had to end the class early because we had Canadian people that had to fly home and they were about to close the airports. And that's when we found out what was happening. Okay, wow. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. But I mean, it seems like you found a way um, to, to make it work to make this work. We definitely did thanks mm -hmm. to Facebook, actually, and just advertising our mushrooms. A lot of word of mouth in the vegan community and, and others. And we just have been really uh, supported by the community. You know, people in Oahu, you, you can't find nicer people than here. And they've mm -hmm. been very, very good to us and very helpful. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. You know, the, um, the one thing that I've really found that I love here or love about Hawaii is that really tight community where people genuinely are taking care of each other. And since COVID-19, you can see how the people here are just awesome. I mean, look at how far we've, we've been able to sort of keep the numbers down as far as people contracting the disease, but it's, um, Hawaii is a special place and I'm so glad to, to hear that. And I can imagine that everyone's taking care of you guys. Your yeah. mushrooms are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I have and to say they are. <laughs> they are fantastic. They're organic. There's, they're, they're organic. They're, to tell us about the actual variety of mushrooms that you are growing, first of all. Right. So presently we're growing oyster mushrooms and that's, mm -hmm. you know, a specific kind of mushroom. But then we, we grow uh, several different strains. So we had started last year with the elms, which are white, and the blues, which are, they start out blue, but then they turn brown. And uh, then we sort of tried a couple of others. We did some pink, some gold. There's many, really? many beautiful varieties of, of oysters. And wow, I didn't even know that that many existed. Oh, yeah, there's several. Actually, Vance could probably calculate exactly how many different uh -huh. strains. And, uh, and I decided which ones were my favorite. And then we would go to our regular customers and give them a sample and say, you know, how do you feel about this or that? Because they all have different textures. Some are good in stir fry. Others are good in risotto, mm -hmm. you know, just depending on how long you want to cook them. 
-hmm. And now we're growing uh, mushrooms called 8801. And they're very mysterious. They're very meaty and delicious. You can use them instead of meat for like a, a veggie burger. So I'll have to, I'll definitely have to get you some there. You'll love them. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> that, that, sounds, no problem. Oh, that sounds amazing. And it sounds like the exact kind of mushroom that, you know, non-vegans would really appreciate too with that meaty yes. texture. Yeah. And mushrooms tend to be able to soak in any flavors that they're thrown into. So that's the right. other thing about them. Not to mention that they're packed with antioxidants. Right. Um, yeah. Mushrooms are awesome. Um, according to a lot of um, a lot of studies, mushrooms lower cholesterol levels, alleviate inflammation, may block cancer growth, and does boost brain. Yes, health. absolutely. So, there are studies on Alzheimer's disease and dementia, and uh, there's mm -hmm. a particular strain called lion's mane, which we did grow. It takes, it tastes like lobster. It's fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and it's a little harder to grow commercially, it takes much longer, but you can buy a kit and grow your own. And it's, it's a lot of fun. They're very hairy. They look like a lion's mane and they really, really taste like lobster or crab. Yeah. They're really? fantastic. And apparently, so, mm. apparently they are the mushrooms that uh, they're working with Alzheimer's to cure or mm. slow down the progression. Really? I have to look into that. So yeah. Ellen, I do want to mention again the name of your business, which is Captain Mushroom. And right. the man behind the business is your husband. We do have some pictures that you pre uh, prepared for us. Okay. So let's take a look at the first one. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, that's your, yeah, that's your mushrooms. These mushrooms are the, there's the, these, and these are the blues. So the they blues. start out, they're actually black when they start out. Or, um, mm -hmm. Some are blue, and then I think we have a few browns. It's a little hard for me to know exactly which ones. Mm -hmm. There's two different strains there. But the, yes, looks like, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the large picture with the little ones, those start out black, and they're actually are browns, and then they grow up, and they're, the one thing I like about them is the stems are very soft. So they're really, nothing goes to waste. That's actually what I noticed when I tried your mushrooms, because some of them can get a bit almost woody or a little bit too, yes. yeah, too, too tough to eat. And you kind of do have to remove that, those hard stems. But yours are just, I would say you grow the perfect mushrooms. Oh, well, thank you. We like to think Honestly, so. Honestly, <laughs> they're amazing. Yeah. Let's take a look at another picture that you have for us. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> so that is us and our son Mango. Um, Your son. And <laughs> we did the pillbox hike. I don't know if you've been there, but uh, on the west coast of Oahu in, in Waianae and uh, Nanakuli area, there's a pillbox mm -hmm. hike. You just go up the side of the mountain and there's several pillboxes and the view is spectacular. It looks amazing. I did want to ask where you took that photo from. Is that hiking trail open yet? Yeah, or is it, it's open. It has, it is, okay. Yeah, it's hard to, it's, it's in a development. So you kind of have to know a little bit about where to go and you just park your mm -hmm. car and walk up the mountain. A lot of people go up there, really, you know, cool people that all want to look at the view. And even with the um, quarantine, they said that you can still hike, just keep your distance. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. And I mean, everyone's complying with the um, new COVID-19 yeah. rules, so I don't see any reason why they they need to close the trails, but that's right, good to know. Right. Ellen, I was just thinking, looking at you guys, both of you are vegan, is that correct? That's correct. I mean, you guys are the epitome of health. I love looking at <laughs> at people like you who just, you know, you you take care of yourselves and health is very important to you. And at the end of the day, you know, if you don't have your health, you, you really are going to struggle later on in life, especially the older you get. So, yeah, you know, the whole foods, plant based diet, there's definitely something to be said of it. This photo is gorgeous. Oh, that was a sunset at um, Makua Beach where we swim with dolphins every once in a while. They, really? They're right out there. Yeah. If you go early enough, there's a pod of dolphins and we swam with a pod for about an hour. Hour. It was the coolest experience. Uh, yeah, so we took that picture it's last great. weekend on Mother's Day. Oh, really? This is a very recent photo. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. You guys make such a you know awesome couple. I'm so happy for you. 
And uh, we were just talking, Ellen, before the show that I think you guys are going to be one of the couples that do make it through this, like still happy and together. Not that, I not hope that, so. <laughs> not that no one, no other couples are going to. I mean, you know, as I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah, great to see you guys together having fun and all that yeah. sort of stuff because you, you do have to keep busy, don't you, during this uh, self-quarantine period, Absolutely. especially if you're unable to work. So. Well, that's why you see a lot of my um, vegan dishes on Facebook. I've been doing a lot of cooking <laughs> and fostering some animals. And, and yeah, staying busy, I think, is key. Um, getting a lot of sunlight is important, vitamin D, mm -hmm. exercise. And you're right. I think if you don't have your health, you're really in trouble. I, I'm 62. And oh I my have gosh, to, Ellen. yeah, and you know, I, I really attribute my health to a vegan diet because before I was a vegan, I, I did have some health issues and they've all disappeared. And sure, I get the aches and pains that everybody gets, but do mm -hmm. stretching every morning and get some sunlight and fresh mm -hmm. air and drink lots of water and stay away from flesh. <laughs> and yes, I think so you're going to be fine. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. And you, you look amazing. I, I am flabbergasted to hear that you're 62. You're, you're, I think the new 62. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, the, the vegan diet, there's something to be said of it. Ellen, we're going to take a break in a couple of minutes. And okay. I did want to ask you to introduce your husband, Vance, although he'll come on after the break. We'll have a okay. one minute break, but yeah, go ahead and tell us a little bit about Vance or okay. Captain Mushroom as he's sure. otherwise known. <laughs> so, so my beautiful husband, Vance, is the uh, brainchild of, of our company, Captain Mushroom. I thought of the name, but he thought of the business. And uh, when we moved to Hawaii, we just weren't sure what we were going to do to make a living. And he researched mushrooms for several months. And he said, let's grow mushrooms. And it was a very good decision. It's been extremely rewarding and it's a lot of work. A lot of people want to do what we do, but you really have to have a commitment because it does take a lot of work. They don't, they don't grow by themselves, even though we make it look easy. No, and the video that you prepared for us, for us is so interesting, Ellen. I must say, I've never seen anything like it. So. Um, to whoever's watching this show, do stay tuned. Um, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with uh, Captain Mushroom, your husband, Vance, to talk more. Ellen, thank you so much for joining us on the show. It was great to see you looking gorgeous as ever. <laughs> stay healthy, <laughs> stay happy, and stay safe. Thanks, Lily, and you too. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, see you all later. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with Vance of Captain Mushroom. Aloha, I'm Keisha King, host of Crossroads in Learning on ThinkTech Hawaii. On Crossroads in Learning, our guest and I discuss all aspects of education here in Hawaii and throughout the country. You can join us for stimulating conversations to enrich, enliven, and educate. We are streamed live on ThinkTech bi-weekly at 4 p.m. on Mondays. Thanks so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. Aloha. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World. So awesome to uh, have you with us. Today I am here with Vance Gambriel. Uh, we just had his beautiful wife Ellen on uh, talking about their, their mushroom business, Captain Mushroom. And now I am proud to introduce you to the Captain Mushroom, Vance Gambriel. Welcome Vance. Hi, thanks for having me. Pleasure, so glad to have you on again. How's everything going since COVID-19? Oh, pretty good. You know, uh, the restaurants, 95% of our business was restaurants. So uh, that was quite a blow. 
And so we had a big surplus of mushrooms suddenly, and we had to uh, get creative, went on Facebook Marketplace and was able to sell quite a bit. We sold some to down the earth, down, down to earth. Down to earth, great. Yeah. And uh, we didn't have to uh, dry any of them up. We were able to sell them all. And, and uh, so we stopped growing for a while. And then uh, I just have faith things are gonna be start picking up here now. So since the mushrooms take about a month to grow out, we've started production again. And, uh, and then we swung a deal with uh, Humana Farms to uh, have some mushrooms in their CSA. So- uh, Awesome. Uh, the, sorry, Vance, production. just to interrupt. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt. Um, Ka Kahumana Farm and Cafe you're talking about? Yes, yes. Yes, so they're selling the community shared agriculture CSA boxes of uh, fresh produce to the public. Correct, yes. Right, awesome. And so they're gonna put, they're gonna add your mushrooms to that? Yes, they are. Starting, oh my gosh. Uh, to be ready in about uh, first to second week in June. I'm definitely going to put an order in. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a good way to go. You know, uh, people are getting used to this, you know, home delivery system. So yes, uh, yes, mm -hmm. they're starting to take off. They deliver mm -hmm. to Kailua too. They're based out of Waianae. Uh, okay. You make a delivery to Kailua. Uh, you can pick up here in Waianae and um, somewhere around the Wapu uh, area as well. Okay. So if anyone is interested in those CSA boxes of fresh produce, you can contact Kahumana and Kahumana Farm and Cafe directly. So I, obviously the cafe is closed, but they are doing also delivery and pickup for these boxes. Yes, yes. Okay, Vance, we've got some photos and video that we video footage that we have to go through of your awesome mushrooms. So let's take a look at another. Uh, photo that we have here that you prepped for us. <laughs> Look at the size of those mushrooms. Is, uh -huh. I've never seen them that big before. Yeah, uh, the shape of mushrooms is called phenotypes, and okay. we don't really have very much control over the phenotypes. Uh, they range from, you know, nice little buttons to large caps, as you see there. And, you know, I mean, it, it, once we see them, you know, some, and then we could pick them a little earlier, but sometimes we let the big ones go. We go, okay, you know, this could be a record. So I'm going to mm -hmm. let this one go a little longer. <laughs> That's amazing. How do you enjoy eating the mushrooms personally? I know there's oh, so much you can them. do with them, but yeah. Are you kidding? My wife is the best vegan chef on this earth. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, actually there, there's one more. <laughs> but, uh, and you know, oh, the risotto Amazing. that she makes, she comes up with all kinds of uh, different things all the time. So, these uh, mushrooms, they are truly amazing because I tried them, yes, last year, the last time that we had you on the show. You just can't buy mushrooms like this. So, hopefully, later on in the year, um, as you know, as the world progresses and things move on, we are hoping to be able to buy them from you, the pub, or hopefully they'll be available to the public again. Yes, yeah, in time. Mm. I mean, we hope the restaurants, you know, are gonna come back to full capacity. We realize that it's probably gonna, you know, it's gonna come back slowly, more than likely. But, uh, you know, yeah, uh, we'll have them at Down to Earth and, you know, okay. or you can get it directly from us as mm. well. Awesome. That's uh, uh, so you, we can find you, Captain Mushroom. How would someone want to get in con be able to get in contact with you? Uh, you can just find us uh, on Facebook. It's Captain Mushroom Oahu, and our okay. phone number is there. Our phone number three uh, is uh, 808 365 2622. And these are all locally grown, uh, all organic, no pesticides, um, incredibly delicious, and Really, you should try and anyone who's watching the show should try and um, find a way to get a hold of some. So, Vance, we do have a video that you and Ellen shot for us of footage of, of your mushrooms and how they're grown. So I would love to take a look at that. I, I think that's the next. Aloha, mushroom lovers. We're Ellen and Vance from Captain Mushroom. And today we're going to give you a little glimpse of how we produce our beautiful, delicious, organic oyster mushrooms right here on Oahu. 
start with sterilizing the substrate. Prepping mushroom is demonstrating the first part of the process. We place hardwood pellets and other organic material into these biodegradable bags and we mix with water. After a few minutes, the pellets absorb the water and then they're ready to be folded and placed into the sterilizer. The sterilizer is on for 18 hours at 200 degrees. Once the bags are sterilized, they go onto these racks to cool for a few days in the lab where the air is scrubbed by passing through pepper filters. The next part of the process is inoculation. It's critical that everything remains very sterile and meticulously organized. We inoculate the substrate with organically grown grain spawn and we seal the bags. The next part of the process is incubation. Here we move the inoculated bags into the incubation room where they'll be stored at around 75 degrees. These filter patches keep the air inside the bags sterile while this white mycelium feeds on the substrate and grows throughout the entire bag. The incubation phase takes about two weeks. After the incubation process is complete, the bags are brought into the spruiting chamber. The bags grow in a very controlled environment with the proper oxygen levels, temperature, humidity, and light spectrum. They are ready to be harvested in about one to two weeks. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video. You can call us anytime at 808-365-2622, or you can email us at catmush22 at gmail.com. Aloha! But what a great video. No problem. <laughs> yeah, no, we just I, uh, put it together uh, in you know, just a short yeah. little two minutes. It's hard to, for me to talk and explain everything in two minutes, but. No, you did <laughs> an awesome job. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, again, I, I do urge people to, to take a look at the video once the links are up, but um, it is a great video. And I learned so much about <laughs> mushrooms in just those two minutes. Yeah, it's quite the process for sure. It is. It looks like quite a large space that you're growing them in. How, how large of a space is it? uh it's Just about uh probably 500 square foot total between the incubation room and the grow room and lab wow. egging area mm -hmm. all climate controlled hepa filters lots of hepa filters you know yes so, very Jeez, where sterile did, where does ellen get to put all of her um shoes you're taking up all the room oh no no that's it's that's it's a different it's in a different place <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> no that's that's awesome so um looking forward to to getting hold of some of your mushrooms again Vance you know mm -hmm. I wanted to um to ask you something if you don't mind you sure. you and uh, Ellen were in St Thomas in Alaska during the was it Irma and Maria the hurricanes hurricane yeah. Irma and Maria mm -hmm. so you had uh chartered a snorkel you sorry you started a snorkel ch snorkel chartered boat business yes. and did you have to close tell us about that because i'm just trying to think two major disasters really have happened in your life and mm -hmm. which one which one is more challenging for you the COVID, what we're going through now with COVID-19 or what you went through after the hurricanes and losing your business oh the, the hurricanes for sure you know that's that's by far you know without electricity without cell phone service wi-fi mm -hmm. you know we're still dependent upon our wi-fi now that when you suddenly don't have any for weeks uh you know it's quite an adjustment for sure well uh, ellen, that's interesting but, because ellen was just talking about the retreat she went on where she the 10-day retreat where she wasn't talking at all i was just thinking i don't think i can even do that for 10 minutes no, oh, you can adjust. You can do it. It's amazing. Our mind can do anything. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this it was quite, true. Horrific, you know, seeing uh, palm fronds fly at 130 miles an hour vertical and rain vertical. You know, the rain, it was raining so hard. You know, at the bottom of windows, there's these little cracks. So when you wash your windows, the water runs out. There are tiny yeah. little cracks. 
Well, it was raining so hard. It was spraying as if somebody took a spray nozzle and just sprayed in your windows. It was just spraying all wow. out of your house. You know, so we had to put towels around all the windows because the spray was coming in through those tiny cracks in the bottom of the window seal. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a very yeah. On top of everything, you know, bad that happened during that hurricane, it it was a very must have been a very scary experience for you. Because I was thinking, I I lived through the um, twenty eleven tsunami earthquake in Japan, and I was in the city where it hit in the Tohoku region, Sendai. So we lost mm -hmm. twenty thousand people there, not to mention oh. um, so many people lost their homes, kids were orphaned, etc. And I was thinking too, which one's worse? And it's hard to say because this COVID nineteen has just affected everyone, in, you know, in some way or other. Vance, we are going to get, we are actually at the end of the show, but um, could you please say something to the viewers out there about your mushrooms, about, you know, the situation now, anything that comes to mind, and then we'll wrap up the show. Oh, well, um, you know, we're moving into uh, a vegan diet. Uh, the meat uh, processing plants are doing more to harm global warming than fossil fuels. In fact, if we reduced our meat consumption by a quarter and then whole world, we would have no need to reduce any fossil fuels whatsoever. So mushrooms are a big part of meat replacement. That is so, that is so true and so well said. And I do hope that uh, perhaps during these challenging times, people are you know, thinking more about their health or rethinking their health. And maybe one of the ways you can improve your health is the obvious um, steer more towards a whole foods plant-based diet for sure <laughs> and you yeah. and ellen are, are living proof that you know you can be so healthy at any age all of us can oh yeah Fancy. mushrooms boost your immunity they <laughs> certainly do and they taste great as well Vance, thank you so much again for coming on it was awesome having you and your gorgeous wife ellen on i do Thanks. um wish you all the best with your uh, future and your business take care stay safe stay healthy and to everyone else See you next time on Lillian's Vegan World. Aloha. Go vegan.